So you might be surprised, but different species hear in different ways. I was out in my garden with my daughter, and it was really interesting because I saw this big spider and I, I gave it a little puff, and, went, and nothing happened. And then I started singing to it, and while I was singing, I noticed it reacting. So then I just started trying to figure out if there were specific frequencies and sounds that it would be the most sensitive to, that if I hit certain notes, the spider would wave at me and clearly tell me to bug off. Some spiders tune their webs to resonate like violins. What's happening is as you get to the higher octaves, I'm getting louder slightly, and those harmonics and the strength of them are eliciting this deterministic biological response in that spider, where the spider's reacting is aware of you know, either a threat, or in some cases, other frequencies might trigger the spider to think there might be food. This particular spider is predated on by echolocating bats and birds in, in some areas. And so you get this very deterministic response that's responding to the resonance of its, its web and it's building its web to resonate to very specific frequencies. We want to tap in to that innate experience. We want to tap into those places where your body engages with the experience you're having so naturally and without your cognitive attention, but it just happens and it puts you in the moment. And you know, we're very different from spiders, but there's a huge beauty to how we respond to sound and to the elements in our world, regardless of what species we are.